We go to a lot of machine shops, but I have to say this one is really, really impressive. Unicup Precision in Welland Garden City and massive fans of Citizen Machinery, the Citizen Machines and the Miano Machines. Now we're going to look at your Citizen Machines, but how many Citizen Mianos do you have? Uh, 28. Right, and just to clarify, we had to check that because you're making acquisitions of these machines all the time. You bought four in the last sort of four or five months? Yeah, four L12s uh, since Christmas, yeah. Okay, so obviously great, great fans of that. But taking a, a quick step back and, and covering off, we normally cover it last, in terms of service and support from Citizen, how's that? Second to none. Uh, yeah, we, I mean, it's in, in, in this industry, you obviously get um, problems that happen. Um, they're on the other end of the phone, straight away, we get engineers out same day sometimes. Uh, next day, they're very, very good, yeah. Excellent. But I'm assuming you don't get many problems with machines anyway? No, certainly not the newer ones anyway, no, yeah. no. Okay, so now you bought four L12s in the last four or five months? Yeah, yeah, since Christmas, yeah. Okay, so why have you got the L12? And I know it's just got LFB. Uh, yes, it's uh, it's more down to customer requirement. Um, got a big uh, order from a, a company. Uh, we make millions and millions of parts. Um, I mean, it's a, a very small part, therefore a more compact machine was more suitable for that. So the parts themselves don't actually look that complicated? No, they're, they're relatively simple. I mean, there's a couple of uh, tight tolerances still, but they're relatively simple. Okay, so in terms of cycle time? Yeah, well, uh, the cycle time on this part is 5.8 seconds, um, but that's only since getting the L12s actually in. Um, previously, they were produced on, a, on a, another cost centre, uh, and uh, the cycle time was just under, just over 8 seconds. So when you're producing at such high volume, uh, it's a big, big difference. Having oh, well, yeah, millions and millions of parts, that's a massive saving. Yeah, yeah when they're running uh, around the clock 24-7, it's a, it's a massive difference for us. Okay, so in this system, just to clarify then, you know, you're not using the machine for the precision and things like that, and complex parts, should I say, it's more the speed and accuracy. It's speed and accuracy, yeah, I mean, it's always, they are precision parts, um, uh, but it's the, it's, it's, due to the volume uh, and the, the compact, the, the machine being so compact, it allows us to, to run out around the clock uh, and be confident that knowing if, as long as the preparation's done on a Friday, we know that all through the weekend if the, yeah. the machines are running. So again, it comes down to you know prep good preparation in advance, get that right, and you know with confidence they'll be running the whole weekend. Good preparation, um, plan maintenance, keeping the machines ticking over, yeah. um, the good tooling as well, getting the correct tooling in the machine, and yeah, it gives us uh, good confidence in the parts that we're producing. Okay, now in terms of just looking at the controls as well, because you Fanuc, Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi controls. Okay, simple to use, fast to use. Yeah, yeah, I, I've not used them myself, um, but uh, all the engineers, all the feedback I get is very, very positive. Now, Scott, we haven't really discussed the LFB. I know you're not using it on this component, but how does that assist you when, with other components? Well, we have used it previously, um, and especially with plastic, it, it gives us uh, great swath control, uh, allows us to run lights out, so it allows us to run uh, through the night and at weekends um, much better than, than before. Okay, what about the finish on the plastic though? Is, is that been affected? Yeah, no, not at all. No, okay. there's no issue, no issue at all. And I suppose one of the, you know, we mentioned cycle times on this part, has it affected cycle times? It does slightly, yeah, yeah. Just, but that's, that's um, due to it's like a chip breaker. Uh, it's the way, the, the way it's kind of designed, so yeah, it does slightly affect cycle time, but if you compare that over the production that, that you get out of the machine and output of the machine, then uh, it, it kind of wins. Yeah. yeah. Benefits definitely outweigh that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Now, so what I'd say then is you utilise and you sit as a Miano machine to a full, full extent in terms of doing real precision, difficult parts. These are relatively straightforward, so you're using it, I'd be going to summarise in terms of small footprint, fast, accurate, reliable. Is there anything else you think you could add to that? Uh, no, it's more about the fact the machine's compact. Uh, the machine's compact, uh, the, the rapid speed is, is what allows us to have that reduction in cycle time uh, compared to before. So. Um, yeah, we've got a much higher output now because of the, the compact machine. And I suppose the fact you've got 28 says itself, 28 machines. Yeah, 28 machines, but also it's down to the service that we receive. Uh, service uh, and support that we receive from, from citizens kind of impeccable. So, uh, yeah, couldn't ask for much more. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Scott.